topic of the day is how to survive high school. This is actually going to be a brand new series that I'm going to be starting on my channel. So stay tuned for all that. So without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Whoa. I'm giving you guys 12 things, 12 starter guys, on how to survive high school with DDG Productions. Number one, be who you are. Don't change for nothing, no reason, no body, no, no whoville. You know what the heck, don't change for no one, okay? Period. Point blank. Shut up. All right, number two, stay positive. No matter how many negative people are around you, stay positive, no matter what, okay? Like. There's gonna be times when you're gonna wanna be negative because a homework or whatever, you probably get broken up with. Who cares? Get over it, stay positive. You're just starting high school or you're probably already in high school. Get over it, stay positive, okay? Number three, find your style. Find whatever style fits you. Don't try to copy everyone else's style, copy every new trend that comes out. Be who you are, just how I said in number one, but find your exact style. Don't wear stuff too tight unless that suits you. Don't wear stuff too uh, large unless that suits you. Whatever makes you comfortable, wear that. Find your style, okay? Number four, take time to meditate and exercise. Don't just do the bare minimum. Actually, do the play 60 thing where you go outside for like at least 60 minutes a day and actually go outside, get exercise, you know, meditate. Calm yourself down. Don't worry about school or anything. Some from time to time, actually take time to yourself and relax and you know connect with your inner body. Get some chakra or whatever. Period. Okay, number five. Get enough sleep. Don't stay up all night playing Fortnite or whatever you guys are gonna be playing. Like, don't stay up all night playing cards. Don't be up all night on Netflix or whatever the heck. You need your sleep. Recommended uh, amount of sleep. It is eight hours, but science actually proved that you only need about six hours of sleep to get feeling energized enough to actually start the next day. So get enough sleep, okay? Number six, talk to your counselor if you need extra help. Don't be ashamed, don't be afraid to talk to someone if you need help. Counselors are there for a reason. They are there to help you further along, to help you in your career, like further on after high school, they are there to help you plan your schedule out right, they are there for stuff like that. So talk to them if you need someone to talk to. Number seven, this goes back to meditating. Take time for yourself. Take time to read a book. Take time to read a comic, you know, do something. Take a walk in the park. Go walk your dog. Go treat yourself. Go out to eat with yourself, you know. Go get ice cream. I don't know. Just treat yourself. Have fun. It's okay to be in a crowd sometimes, but it's also okay to take time for yourself. Go get a face mask, go get a massage, go get your nails done or whatever you may want to do. I don't know. Number eight, make new friends. Upperclassmen are there. They are super nice. I know when I was a freshman, it was hard to make new friends because I don't know. But anyways... Um, make new friends, you know, expound your circle, don't just stick to the same group of friends, because further along, they are going to cut you off sooner or later, you know, get over it, get over it, period. But you got to make new friends, you want to, um, be friends, most of the upperclassmen, like 10th, 11th, and 12th graders, because they can actually help you along, and they can actually help you, like if you're needing help in a subject, maybe they'll be good in a subject, you never know, go make new friends and figure out. Number nine, avoid negative people. Avoid people who make you feel bad. Like, they're just negative, period. There's nothing else needs to be said. Avoid people that make you feel bad or feel insecure or anything like that, okay? Number 10, join a school club. Join something that makes you fit in. That was a lot of clapping. But join a club that you actually like or join something that you don't like. Just to expand your horizon, you know, tr get out of your comfort zone and actually try something new. Try something that will make you feel amazing. Like, some people are scared to try stuff new. I know that. I was scared to try a lot of stuff new, too. But, you know, I went out there. Um, I tried out for, well, not really tried out for band. But 
I did ban, period. I'm doing it right now. I found out that I actually kind of, sort of like it. I didn't like it in the first place. It was too much. It was too hot. Um, but now that I'm actually in it, I think it's pretty fun. It can be fun from time to time. So like, yeah. If you guys want me to do a video on my band experience so far, drop it down in the comment section. But anyways, let's go on. Number 11. Organize. Keep your dividers in your binder. Keep a lot of folders with you. Carry around notebooks. Carry around as much of stuff as you need to. Long as you can stay organized. Keep your locker clean too. Because I met a lot of people with a lot of trash in their locker. And it's pretty disgusting. It's nasty as heck. But keep your stuff organized, neat, and arranged. And just keep everything perfect and neat. Okay? And last but not least, number 12. Take notes. I don't care how many notes the teacher put on the board. Copy all the notes down. Because when their tests come, all of a sudden the teacher will probably say, open notes. Then what you going to do? Nothing, because you don't have your notes. Unless you got um, photographic memory. That's rare. But take a lot of notes. Take as many as notes as you need. No, not as you need. But as many as notes as the teacher put on the board. Okay, take as many notes as possible, okay? Um, well, that will conclude this video. Um, drop comments down in the comment section, any questions that you guys may ask. Um, my, my next YouTube video, stay aware that it's coming out pretty soon. It's coming out next Monday. Um, it's going to be How to Survive Freshman Year. It's going to be specifically for freshmen and... And I guess anybody else who want to watch the video, whether you're high school, high school freshman or college freshman, whoever have the questions, drop them down in the comment section below. I'm going to try to respond to as many of you guys' comments as possible. My social medias will be on the screen right here, and they will also be in the description, as I said before. Um, yeah. So like, comment, share, and subscribe to DDG Productions, and this was How to Survive High School.